John here guys and today we're talking about these brother hobby 2004 3150 kV Get over here. Uh, I don't often review motors by themselves but this is a new trend that's out now you may have seen my review on the beta FPV 1805 motor uh, but when this thing came out um, a slightly different approach on that so these um, new toothpick power systems are able to go 30, 35 amps. That means you can handle a five inch prop on a very small light build like this. So how do you keep the weight low enough, but the power high enough to order to power that combination? And the answer is getting some of these super ultra light motors. Now the 1805 2550 kV beta FPV motor was so fun. Um, it had tons and I mean tons of power, speed, ultra light weight. Uh, and I was very curious how this variant was going to apply. And it did in a lot of ways fly how I expected it to. The extra stator width, right? So it's 20 millimeters wide instead of 18 millimeters wide gives you a lot extra power down low. So this is really a great um, type of motor for small tight race courses. If you wanted to build up something like this pod racer and race with it, this is an excellent option. I do actually recommend this Tattoo 1050 milliamp 4S pack. Um, that actually gives you a little bit more weight to this combination. That's what you want because sometimes it's so light, it's hard to keep it down. It just wants to take off every time you hit the throttle. So by doing that, increasing your camera angle, you can really get some racing feel on here. Now the top end is a little bit less because this is only four millimeter tall stator versus that beta PV that is five but because the kv is also so high 3150 kv on a five inch prop on 4s is ultra high so you really don't lose as much as you would think so all in all this ends up being a much more powerful motor across the board it is a little bit wider so that's my one concern when motors are wider you have a greater chance of dinging them but i would recommend using it on something like this this uh, team black sheep pod racer does have a very nice amount of uh, motor protection on there and you do have a five inch prop even though the motor is very small so if you run props out that will push you away from obstacles hopefully not getting close to these motors. The bell does look a little bit on the thinner side, so you're not going to want to smash these up, but for an ultra, ultra, and I do mean ultra light build, this is really a fun recipe. I'm going to put the weight on the screen. This thing is so light. My goodness. Good job on this, uh, brother hobby. I really like the way that these look also the black lower portion of the bill and this polished sort of silver grayish almost like a gun medley um, but a little more silver um, with polished accents like on the rim they just glisten it reminds me of some kind of like an automotive car um, accent or it almost looks like a ninja weapon i mean outstanding job what do you think in the comments guys are you checking out any of these ultra light builds there's a couple of builds you can buy with motors this size but these toothpick boards are so cheap the j hemku the hi-fi rc the beta fpv the diatone 25 amp there's a host of boards out there um, all across the board from about 40 to 60 bucks they can really give you a lot of performance they're so easy to build put it in one of these cheap frames. This frame is only 26 bucks, so my goodness. What a time to fly FPV. Thanks guys.